This video will demonstrate how to build a comment that can be used on the elementary provincial report card. This specific example focuses on a student in grade 2 math who is performing at level 2. However, this same framework can be applied to other subject areas accordingly. With the implementation of Growing Success in 2010, teachers were provided with direction on creating personalized comments for students on the elementary provincial report card. Growing Success states, in writing anecdotal comments, teachers should focus on what students have learned, describe significant strengths, and identify next steps for improvement. In addition, it says, the comments should describe in overall terms what students know and can do, and should provide parents with personalized, clear, precise, and meaningful feedback. The question becomes, how do we fill this space in a professional manner that follows the direction from the ministry to meet the needs of parents and students? The comment framework developed from Growing Success 2010 assists teachers in composing personalized comments on report cards. The comment framework provides a common process for creating comments that reflect the intent of Growing Success. There are three components in this framework. Write key learning with qualifiers and descriptors developed from a cluster of expectations which focuses on what students have learned. Share specific examples that demonstrate learning by describing significant strengths of the student's work. Communicate next steps to students and parents that will identify strategies for improvement. We begin the process of building a comment by recalling key learning linked to a cluster of curriculum expectations that best reflect a specific student's performance. We are building a sample comment that focuses on one particular student's achievement in geometry and spatial sense for grade 2 mathematics. Teachers are required to report and comment on additional strands as well. Within the geometry and spatial sense strand, there are three overall expectations. In this example, identify two-dimensional shapes and three-dimensional figures and sort and classify them by their geometric properties is the overall expectation that leads to the development of a learning goal. The learning goal is based on a cluster of expectations that are related back to the overall expectation. We continue the process of building a comment by reviewing the learning goal that was developed based on our cluster of expectations. Learning goals are brief statements that describe for students what they should know and be able to do by the end of a period of instruction. The learning goal represents subsets or clusters of knowledge and skills that the student must master to successfully achieve the overall curriculum expectations. Here we begin to develop a learning goal from the overall expectation, incorporating key learning from the specific expectations. After writing your learning goal, it is good practice to ask yourself the following questions. Is the learning goal written in student-friendly language? Is the learning goal based on multiple expectations? As a result of reflecting on these questions, the learning goal becomes, we are learning to name, describe, and sort three-dimensional figures using their different geometric properties. We begin writing a report card comment by describing the student's achievement of the key learning. We use qualifiers and descriptors to develop this learning goal into a comment that is personalized for this student. So our comment begins with, Kelly is able to identify three-dimensional figures and sort these figures into simple categories. For example, it's like a square. We continue the process of building a comment by reflecting on the student's achievement in relation to the success criteria. Success criteria are standards or specific descriptions of successful attainment of learning goals developed by teachers on the basis of criteria in the achievement chart and discussed and agreed upon in collaboration with students that are used to determine to what degree a learning goal has been achieved. Criteria describe what success looks like 
and allow the teacher and student to gather information about the quality of student learning. Here we can see how we have developed success criteria based on the learning goal. When we consider each individual student, we select those criteria that pertain to individualized achievement. We continue writing our report card comment by identifying the criteria that best reflect this particular student's strengths. We share specific classroom examples that demonstrate this student's learning. So our comment continues with, she is able to name and describe simple properties of each figure. We continue writing our report card comment by identifying the criteria that best reflect this particular student's next steps. So our comment communicates the following next steps to this student and her parents. Kelly needs to use specific geometric properties, example number of faces, when describing and sorting three-dimensional figures. In a well-developed personalized comment, students will see themselves and parents will recognize their child. In reviewing our comment for geometry and spatial sense, we recognize the following. Kelly's key learning, specific examples of her strengths, and next steps that may help her improve. This framework can be applied to additional math strands so that we are able to fill this space in a professional manner that follows the directions from growing success, using the comment framework to meet the needs of students and parents. This comment provides personalized, clear, precise, and meaningful feedback for this student. Additional resources, including a copy of the comment framework and examples of specific comments for various divisions, can be found at ae.mesalondon.ca.